Hi, I'm Valerie Schoenwell here with Compassionate Sioux Falls. We're an initiative to help increase compassion in our community and we like to highlight different people and organizations who meet needs like that. Um, we have Lucy Albers, president of Sioux Empire Rockabetties here and she's going to tell us a little bit about her organization. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. So Lucy, who are the Sioux Empire Rockabetties? The Sioux Empire Rockabetties are a group of women in the Sioux Falls area whose mission is to empower other women through uh, mini grants, scholarships, donation drives, fundraising, um, and, and volunteerism and all different efforts. Cool. So tell me about some of the fundraisers that you've had. Sure. Um, so one of the fundraisers we do is a bake sale, um, which is kind of old school when you think about mm -hmm. it, but um, we've actually been able to raise quite a bit of money through that. Um, we've also done, it, we call it the Galentine's Brunch. So it happens around Valentine's Day each year, and it's just, uh, um, it kind of came out of the the TV show Parks and Rec, if you ever saw yep. it, but Leslie yeah. Nope, she kind of had a Galentine's Day with all of her friends, and it's just to support the uh, the females around you that you love. So we sure. we host a brunch where we just invite women out with uh, to bring their friends, and and we do a fundraiser that way. Um, this year we're trying something new. We're doing a a garage sale fundraiser. So in a couple weeks we'll be doing that, and. Um, so we, we kind of, we try a bunch of different stuff. If it works, it works. And if it doesn't, we try new stuff. So. Sure. Yeah. And your website says that you have a passion for vintage style that yes. embraces all sizes and shapes of mm -hmm. women. And it seems like body positivity is mm -hmm. a part of your mission. Yes. How do you... Uh, work toward that goal. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, one of the, I think the standards we sometimes get is people see us in this, uh, this pin-up image. Um, and when, when the group was created, it kind of was started by a group of women who really loved the feel of the 40s, 50s, 60s, and, and preserving that vintage style. Mm -hmm. um, but something that I tell a lot of new members or potential members is like, you don't have to put on uh, you know, a poodle skirt and red lipstick to be a member. Right. Um, we just want to help women and we want to do it in a way that makes us comfortable. So if you are more comfortable wearing a t-shirt and jeans, that's absolutely fine. Um, but we love, we love just kind of showcasing um, sort of an era of women where it became uh, more of a thing to, to help those around you, sort of like this woman's aid movement. Um, and that's where some of the vintage stuff kind of comes in, but, um, but we support anybody and everybody in any uh, size uh, or race or gender sure. um, or age uh, where we're all inclusive. So, um, so we, I mean, we just support positively, obviously, th for our members. We're very open. Um, but we also just want to help women um, no matter what their needs are. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. So where does the name Rockabettys come from? Yeah, so when you were kind of thinking about the, the retro vintage vibe, um, and it kind of came from the term Rockabillies, okay. um, which you kind of think about that, that kind of um, scene and movement and music, um, and we just turned it into the female version, which would be Rockabettys. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, so I saw in January you had a feminine products drive. Yeah. And you had over 20,000 yes. items collected. And how were those distributed to women in the area? Yeah, so the feminine hygiene product drive was actually started by a different group a couple years ago. Um, and the Rockabettys came in as a supporting group um, two or three years ago, I think, to help promote it. Uh, so we've been doing that um, for quite a few for quite a few years now. It's always around Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service, uh, and all of the products we um, we raise we give to the banquet in Sioux Falls. Okay. So the banquet uh, kind of keeps it as a stash, and they hand it out to women as they see need or women that come in looking for it. So sure, that's yep. great. Yeah. And you also have a scholarship available to women. Yes. How do they apply for that? We do. We've been giving. We started giving away our first scholarship uh, last year, actually. So we just get, we're in the process of giving away our second one, um, and that was always uh, the goal of the Rockabettys was to give away a scholarship. So it's for uh, what we kind of label as non-traditional students, but we leave it up to 
um, the applicant to define that. So we don't base it off of like GPA, we base it off of um, their resume, their S essay questions, and two letters of recommendation. So um, it's available for um, part-time or full-time students. You can be um, a single mother, you could be um, you know, a mother who, whose children has raised and now you're going back to school. Um, you could be the first in your generation going to school. It could be anything. Um, the only criteria is that you have to be a female and you have to be going to school in South Dakota. So um, applications are really easy. Like I said, it's just a couple essay questions, um, some basic information, and a couple letters of, of recommendation. But you can always visit our website, which is suempirerockabettys.org, uh, for more information for those. And about how many <clears throat> people are members of Sioux Empire Rockabettys? Yeah, so we usually um, have about 20, 20 girls who are um, who are members and obviously we're we're very uh, sensitive towards everybody's life uh, so if uh, if a couple months are busier than the others and you can you can kind of join and, and be an, as active as you want but we're usually around 20 members and only women are active in the group or? well only women can be members okay uh, but we take on those husbands and boyfriends <laughs> and friends as much as we can so um, there's lots of, of men who help us out and uh, and are active with our group and talking about our group too. Cool. Yeah. So how does someone find you guys or become a part of the group? Sure, so you can find us on Facebook, uh, which is just Sue Empire Rockabettys, or you can go to our website, which is sueempirerockabettys.org. Uh, we, we tend to have some sort of public event once a month, so there's always ways to meet us. Our next one will, as I um, mentioned, will be our garage sale in, in July and then we'll have a bake sale probably in August and um, so there's always different events coming up that you can track us down in Sioux Falls at or you can shoot us an email or a Facebook message and um, we're happy to get in touch with everybody. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks. So if you want to find out more about Compassion at Sioux Falls, visit us at siouxfalls.org slash compassion or find us on social media, hashtag compassionate SF.